Nice shirt. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I have to buy them in bulk. You know, between the blood stains and the ray gun burns, I go through these things like Jock Kitchen and Fred has. You should check out the Boo Franklin line of polo shirts at S-Mart. And no offense, Ash, but S-Mart's not exactly known for quality tailoring. That's the old S-Mart. These new Boo shirts have triple stitching around the seams and advanced stain-fighting microfibers. Alcohol, vomit, blood, it all washes off like water on a goose's butt. No kidding. Best of all, the Boo Franklin polo shirts are all made right here in the USA, so you don't have to worry about tanking the economy. Nice. Not just nice, smart. S-smart. Time to separate the men from the boys, ladies. Mr. Williams has placed the remainder of his chips in the pot, and apparently part of his brain. Hey! I hate to be that guy, but your chainsaw's leaking on my pants. Sorry about that, Marmaduke. I just like to be prepared. For what, an attack of the Triffids? Triffids, Deadites, Vampires, Nightmare Demons. Or maybe just your everyday killer robot. Chainsaws. Like those would work. Whatever happened to that nice Sheila lady you rescued from the Deadites back in the 14th century? No idea. I tried to find out once or twice, but ancient history is not exactly my strong suit. Perhaps I can help. Scanning, scanning. Sheila, the very pregnant daughter of Euford. Married to Theodore in 1300. Pregnant? Hey, man, we only did it once. Twice tops. One son, eight grandchildren. Killed by the Black Plague in 1347. Along with all but one of her heirs. Ah, damn. Direct descendants emigrate to Poland in the 15th century. Hey, a fellow Pole. Grata luce. Remaining family escapes Nazis in mid-20th century eventually settling in a Swedish enclave in Nebraska. Wait a minute. By the 1960s, the sole surviving ancestor of Theodore and Sheila, Bonnie Jablonski, briefly marries a local traveling salesman, giving birth to two male sons, including Brock Fitzgerald Samson. Ah, son of a bitch. Hey, welcome to the family! Hey, I don't want to seem unfriendly, but I just met you assholes, so why do you seem to know everything about me? What? You don't know? There have been movies, video games, action figures. The director's cut rocks. Max has all your action figures. Even the ultra-rare Naked Ash variant. Yowza! Wait a minute, someone's merchandising me? Why haven't I seen any of this? Maybe you should see a lawyer. Pronto. You know, after all this time, I'm still not sure what a deadite really is. Well, it all starts with a demonic book that should never, ever be read out loud. Like Battlefield Earth? No, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Reading it awakens demons that can take over people and all kinds of crap, turning them into deadites. Got it? Not really. Just don't read the book! Will do. I'm not a big reader anyway. And Ash has two pair. On the side pot, the player wins. Well, of course you won with those cards. Even Steve could have won with those cards. And all he can say is, hey -o. Hey -o. Shut the f*** up, Steve! And people say I'm annoying. Nice hand. Almost as nice as this one. And on the main pot, the player wins the hand. Congratulations, you didn't screw the pooch. Chainsaw, huh? Isn't that a little messy? It gets the job done. I like my weapons more, uh, <laughs> intimate. When you're fighting the kind of uglies that I come up against, the last thing you want is intimate. So, uh, rumor has it those nuts over at Telltale are doing a game based on the award-winning Fables comics. Yeah, I auditioned for the role of Bigby. But they said I wasn't wolfy enough. They also said you should lose a few pounds. Well, that's gotta sting, what with you being an Irish wolfhound and you know? all. I'm an Irish wolfhound? Ethan Bigora. What's this emotion I'm feeling? It's like I wish I had those cards, but I also hate you for having them. That's envy, you emotionally stunted rhomboid. And now 
I'm learning arousal. That's not fair. Fair? Are you suggesting that I'm unfair? Oh, no, no, no. You're the fairest killer robot I've ever seen. Smooth, Sam. <sighs> if I was the kind of guy who used words like jinxed, this is the kind of moment I'd use it. But since you're not that kind of guy, what word are you gonna use? Boned? Thanks for another crappy hand, lady. You're welcome. It's nice to be appreciated. Say, Sam, is that your tricked out 1960 DeSoto adventurer in the parking lot? It better be. I'd hate to think we've been driving around in someone else's car for the past 25 years. Why do you ask? I think it growled at me. Yeah, it's done that ever since that adventure we had in H-E double hockey sticks. Maybe you should see an exorcist. That's what I keep telling Max. But then he just spins his head at me and vomits. An old Nathrak! <coughs> I just had that cleaned! You know, I kind of thought your partner would be playing tonight. Max used to be a tournament regular, but he's got what the psychologists call crippling impulse control issues. Couldn't keep a lid on his gambling? Not in the slightest. But that didn't matter, because he kept winning. Then what's the problem? Well, the inventory banned him because, well... Max kept eating the poker chips. <laughs> there you are! You better not be cheating with some sort of x-ray attachment there, R2. Why would I need to cheat? My cybernetic processors are more than capable of whipping your primitive ape brains. Hey, I'm a dog brain. Besides, x-ray lenses are so 20th century. All the cool robots are using quantum prediction fields these days. But not you, right? Um, yeah, right. That sounded like the shutdown of a quantum predictor field. No, that was, uh, my, um, internal dialysis regulator, which I need for my diabetes that I have. On the one hand, you're probably trying to string me along. On the other hand, that bet's so small that I just don't give a hoot. Call. I kind of thought there'd be one of those walking dead guys at the table tonight. Oh, uh, you know how it is with video game characters. Give them a little bit of fame, and it all goes to their heads. Tell me about it. Even secondary characters like that goofball Larry wanted script approval. What a jerk. Max and I have been around for 25 years, and even we don't get script approval. Don't have a cow, man. Well, what about the zombies? Uh, they're not so good with the repartee. Well, there was talk about overdubbing them, but that got us in trouble with the zombie unions. Hey, you gotta watch out for those guys. They'll eat you alive. You know what really ticks me off? When some jackpot tries to blow my circuitry with some lame old stunt he saw in a Star Trek rerun. What? Like, everything I say is a lie? Yeah! Like that! What? Do they think I'll just lock up because of some teeny tiny logical paradox? It is rather insulting. I learned how to avoid paradox traps while I was still in beta. So what if everything Sam says is a lie? That doesn't mean that he's lying about that, right? Because then he'd be telling the truth. And, uh... Oh, oh no. Wow. Well, that was a shining moment in the history of robot kind. And I'm back! Brock Samson has been eliminated. You know, my mom warned me against playing poker with dogs, robots, cripples, and mutes. Guess I should have listened to her. So, Sam, when can I expect to enjoy the next thrilling multi-chapter adventure of the Freelance Police? Oh, gee. Max and I are just trying to enjoy the downtime. We haven't been this busy since the 90s. Downtime, clown time. Tell you what, you come over to Gearbox, we'll have you guys set up in a Borderlands 2 expansion pack toot suite. I don't know. We're not really first-person shooter material. Speak for yourself, Sam! The little 
little guy might be a wee bit overpowered, though. We might have to nerf him a few degrees. So, what are you? Some sort of helper robot? Oh, the CL4PTC is so much more than a mere helper. We're companions, guides, teachers, comrades in arms. Forget I asked. I can do that too, see? Whoa! Accidentally erased my bar mitzvah there! Benzina! So, Samson, you work for that Doc Venture egghead, right? Well, it's a little more complicated than that, but, uh, I'm his bodyguard. Yeah. So why isn't he at the table tonight? You know, with his massive brain and all. I'm a little curious about that, too. Although our invitation was extended to Venture Industries in general, we assumed that Dr. Venture himself would be accepting. Well, a big part of my job is screening Doc Venture's mail for dangerous items. Anthrax, bombs, financial scams, that sort of thing. You thought this was a scam? Well, not really. I just know better than to let Rusty anywhere near a poker table. What, he can't bluff? Are you kidding? Doc lies like a rug, but he's just not so good with numbers and probability, stuff like that. Just like Einstein. Sure, sure, let's go with that. You know, after this is over, we should blow this joint, find some real action. At the conclusion of tonight's activities, the player will be escorted home by the Inventory Security Service. Oh, you sure? Because uh, I know this joint on the coast where they play Russian roulette with confiscated ray guns. The owner would frown on disintegrating the player. <laughs> Ah, come on, they're set on stun. Brock Samson has a pair of sixes, and you have two pair. The player wins the hand. Ash Williams has been eliminated. Klaatu! Oh, no. Max! It's Klaatu Barada Nikto! Got it! Klaatu Barada Tiptoe! Crap. You know, I should really get my hearing checked. <laughs> Sam has been eliminated, and will be removed by his partner's illiteracy. Cuckoo banana pismo? Max, no! <laughs> Brock Samson has been eliminated from the tournament, and possibly this plane of existence. Keanu Barbera Nimoy! <laughs> I'll get some white out. Sam has been eliminated. Well, it was only money. At least we've still got each other, right, Max? Max? Ha! Mr. Trap has ace high, and Mr. Williams has a pair of queens. Mr. Williams wins the pot. It's good to be the king. Claptrap has been eliminated and will be textualized. Textualized? Claptrap Babushka Nito! Oh, come on! That's not even close! <laughs> 
You know, that book needed more comic relief. The player has won the tournament, rescuing Arthur's kingdom from the armies of darkness. As a reward for your service, you will be given this potion, three sips of which will put you into a magical slumber until you reawaken in time for the next tournament. Was that two sips? <laughs> ah, you're awake. Welcome back. Welcome to the future, kid. I hope you like alien invasion. I told you these phony beards were a bad idea. <laughs>